Hey guys, it's Brian the Shaving Geek here with another episode of My Shave of the Day. Uh, first of all, let me apologize. It's been a few days since I've put one of these out. I did shave on Sunday. Uh, I didn't shave uh, Monday or Tuesday and I uh, finally got around to shaving today. Um, I'm going to actually cover both Sunday shave and today shave. Normally I would just skip Sunday shave and forget about it, but I did use a new soap and I really did want to talk about that soap. I just didn't have an opportunity to do one of these um, uh, these videos, So, uh, but I didn't want to skip uh, talking about this soap. So we'll just kind of run through it. I try to keep things simple, use the same brush and um, razor on both days, a little bit of different aftershaves on Sunday and today, and we'll talk about that. So let's get right to it. For my brush, I've been using this, uh, what is it, a Royal London um, handle with a uh, new bore knot in it that Thomas Bird just did for me. Really, really enjoying this. Uh, the heft on this is really, really nice, but I've really been enjoying this knot. It's got a lot of backbone, uh, and when this gets broken in, this is going to be a great, great brush. I really, really like it. There's not a lot of scritch to it, and I think it's going to really be, be nice and soft. And uh, so really been working with it uh, for about a week and a half. I just soaked it, dried it, soaked it, dried it, just to try to get it broken in a little bit. And then I've used it, I don't know, three or four times now and really, really liking this brush. And it kind of paired well with the soaps that I'm using. We'll, we'll talk about here in a minute. But I've got the Blackbeard Shaving Soap, one of those pass arounds. Uh, and so I thought, you know, the ship motif and uh, these soaps would go well together. We'll talk about the soaps here in a minute. For my razor... Uh, both Sunday and today, I'm using this Gem Junior and really, really enjoying it. I think I'm just going to take a tour of my single edge razors this week, but I love this one. And this is probably, if not my favorite single edge razor, it is right up there as one of my favorite single edge razors. Just really, really enjoy this. And it really surprises me every time that I use it because it's so weight, um, so weight, so lightweight, not a whole lot of heft to it at all. And yet it performs beautifully for me. Um, one of the things I love about this as well is it's got great audible feedback. So I really can tell when I've got that angle right with just how it, it speaks to me. Um, I do have it loaded with an, what is it, American Safety Razor Company, I believe, blade. It's a, it's a drugstore blade, and I really have good luck with it. I really should try some of the other ones. I think uh, there's Gem and Treat, I think, are two of the other ones that are out there. Just never have gotten around to it because I like these so well. The And this uh, was a fresh blade on Sunday, so shave two on it today. So for my soaps, again, this is the Blackbeard Shaving Soap uh, Company, and put out by Beaver Woodwright, uh, beaverwoodwright.com. And you may remember I had uh, the first box or one of the, the past ones. There's actually three of these going around um, that, that Kelly Hogan is, has allowed us to uh, try out. And so I had the uh, first box a couple of weeks ago, and then I got this one in last Friday. So this will be heading out here shortly. But um, really, really enjoying these soaps. From a performance perspective, these are great soaps. Um, so I'll just talk about that just quickly. This is a very soft soap, as you may recall, uh, very similar to Dr. John's, if you're familiar at all with Dr. John's soaps. Uh, just a you know, very, very soft soap. Loads easily, lathers easily. Uh, it has all of the performance that you, you look for um, in a soap as far as cushion glide, at least it does for me. Um, now, these two scents that I used, I'll talk about this one here first. This is what I used on Sunday. This is one that's called Aladdin's Spice. And, whew, it's really, really nice. This is one of the stronger smelling soaps um, that I've tried, I think. And it's just got a really nice, warm, um, spicy smell to it. And I, I don't know how other else to describe it other than than that it's it's just this this very nice warm fragrant soap um do i wish that it was a little bit stronger yes um but it's an excellent excellent scent and there's something in there that really reminds me uh, it reminds man it's nice Whew. It, it's it's Kind of reminds me of of cookies at Christmas time. Um, it's, it's really what it reminds me of, and so because of that, 
I paired it with the Sterling Barbershop, which has some some notes of, ooh, oh man, that's good stuff. It's got some notes of um, gingerbread cookies to me um, in this. And so I felt like these paired very, very well together on Sunday, the Aladdin Spice and the Sterling Barbershop. Now, today I used uh, the so-called Shiver Me Timbers. And, ooh, ooh that's nice. It, this has definitely got mint, at least some kind of peppermint or spearmint going on in there. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. But what I didn't expect, and I should have by the name Shiver Me Timbers, but it, ha it has to have some menthol in it or, or something. I I'm going to guess it's menthol because there was this really nice cooling effect. Not o overpowering. It uh, wasn't a freeze your face off, but reminded me, um, as far as the cooling effect goes, uh, to the cooling effect that I find in Icy Grove by Balanclaw, which is perfect for me. And I really, really enjoyed this today. I mean, it just cooled me down real nice. And heading into the summer, starting to get a little muggy. We had some thunderstorms roll through uh, yesterday, so you still have that muggy feeling a little bit in the air. And um, whew, it was just really nice, and I really enjoyed it. Now, again, on the scent strength, I would put this... Uh, you know, and maybe three, four category. Definitely pick it up um, out of the tin very well. And I and I enjoyed it during the shave. Just wish again that it was bumped up a little bit, um, the scent strength was. And having said that, uh, with regards to the reviews that we've been doing on these, and Kelly has been asking for us to do reviews and asking for feedback. And I and I appreciate that from, from a uh, an artisan who's wanting to better their product. And Kelly has already said that looking to address the... Um, scent profile issues, looking to bump them up uh, a few notches here and there, tweak that a little bit. Um, and also, I talked about the labeling. Uh, I've already seen some of the prototypes as far as labels coming out. Uh, so some great stuff coming from Blackbeard Shaving Soap. So this is definitely, in my opinion, a vendor to watch. And I, it's, it's going to be one that I'm, I'm going to be keeping an eye on because uh, Kelly is doing... Um, everything possible to to really elevate um, his game and and um, bring a great quality soap to the market. So really, really enjoying these pass arounds and looking forward to kind of the um, see, seeing what's in store for for Blackbeard shaving uh, soaps. And because of the cooling of the uh, this this soap today, again being a mint, uh, very refreshing. I paired it with this Prorasa, which is to me. Uh, one of, of my favorite uh, mentholated um, sh uh, aftershaves. And it just was a great pairing for me. Very refreshing way to start the day. And just really enjoyed my shave today. I went two passes today. And uh, definitely DFS. Almost BBS, but not quite. And again, I don't push it. I don't uh, you know chase that. I look for a great shave. And I had a great shave today. Very, very happy with what I used. One other thing of note, uh, in the last couple of days, I hit 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribing. I really appreciate it. When I started this journey uh, several months ago, I never thought that I'd have that many people that would be interested in what I have to say. And uh, so I really appreciate it. I really do. And uh, I'll keep putting these out as, you know, as I said in the beginning, as long as I'm enjoying this and as long as I feel like I have something to say and something to contribute to the community, uh, I'm going to be doing that. And uh, so thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. So this is Brian the Shaving Geek reporting live from my shave den, wishing you a lifetime of happy shaves. Have a great day, everybody.